it you guys rather than spilling the tea it's um spilling the squash but Scottish Swimming have just announced that they are cancelling the remaining national district uh, national and district meets that are between now and the end of August so obviously I'm I'm kind of torn between two minds obviously it is a decision that is very much necessary especially in open water you're pretty much swimming on top of each other and you know social distancing just doesn't happen in social in, in open water swimming there's no way you would be able to get around the two meter rule and it would just take the whole meet too far if you were to practice social distancing while doing an open water race and obviously with everyone being in such a close area it would be a problem in regards to the spread of any diseases and stuff so i do think it is the right decision but that doesn't mean that i'm not good and i think that that's a totally natural reaction i mean most of my life is geared to round to round to that was a cost between around and towards a, around swimming and everything i i live eat breathe swimming and it is natural for me to be gutted that my goals have basically been stripped away from me and i think that those thoughts i shouldn't feel guilty in any way for having those thoughts because i think that's unhealthy and it's totally natural to feel that way but i think it's also important to see the bigger picture now obviously the open water season was supposed to start in may with um best fest i haven't they haven't cancelled best fest yet but i do see them cancelling it just because it's so soon it's the end of may and the whole issue with travel and things i think it will get cancelled and obviously now the rest of the open water meets have been cancelled so the open water season this year won't go ahead and that is pretty tough for me i think that it will take me a while to get over that but i am still positive in the fact that i've come back from stuff before like this and you know last year i was told i wouldn't get a season and i made british for the first time and i think that it's important to use this to come back stronger obviously that's not me basically gonna shut down the what i'm feeling because i think what i'm feeling now is natural and i think it's important to let those emotions out and if i just suppress them it's obviously going to be worse in the long run so obviously this week of workouts i've just been for a run i am still gonna work out just as much just because it keeps my head clear and it gives me something to focus on and also when i do get back in the pool next season it will give me the chance to start a higher threshold so obviously i'm the fittest i've been in a long time at the moment and I think that that's super important to maintain because if I lose that obviously it's a long time between now and September it's six months six months of doing nothing is a long time and it will take probably six months to get over that so I think it is important to keep moving I think that it's a good time to readjust my goals and stuff obviously my goals were largely geared to rounds to rounds i've done it again towards open water now that that's not going ahead that's just i that is just fact and i think that i have to come to terms with that and everything does happen for a reason i am a th firm believer in that and recently my journey to faith has allowed me to have faith in the world and have faith in the fact that everything does happen for a reason and that there is a plan for us all and that the setbacks we have are going to lead to stronger um what's the opposite of setback stronger thriving basically and i think it's important to remember that in this time and i think it's important to remain faithful and yeah i just want to give advice to anybody who's feeling the same obviously swimming's probably not the only sport that people are getting cancelled 
people are losing their seasons, people are probably thinking all oh, that hard work's gone to waste. That hard work has not gone to waste. That hard work has acted as the foundation for next season. And I think that it is important to realise that sport, nothing's clear in sport, nothing's certain, nothing is um, permanent. And that's what I love about sport. That's how you can win and it can feel amazing. And obviously the lows make winning feel so much better. And the lows of last year made achieving British feel so much more amazing than what it actually was. And I just wanted to hop on here and say that to you guys that obviously allow yourself to feel the emotions that you're feeling right now, but don't let them consume you. I think it's such an important time to realise that now is the time to thrive. And this is a challenge. And if you lie around and feel sorry for yourself all day every day for the next however long until you're back in the pool or back training i think that that is very toxic and i think that it's important to realize that yes being an athlete is part of your identity but it doesn't make you who you are and yeah i just wanted to say that to anybody who needs to hear this right now because it is so important and I'm with you, I'm 100% with you, and my DMs are always open for anybody who wants to talk to someone, but let's just realise that there is a bigger picture, and it's taken me a while to come to terms with that. Um, it is natural to feel disappointed, but, you know, we'll, we'll, we will come back bigger, better, stronger, and I think that that's important. So, just ask yourself, how can you use this time to benefit your future self and I think that that is super important.